Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers. Welcome back. Uh, the Air Force was not its own unique branch of the military until a few years after World War II ended. In this week's Veteran Salute, KSN's Hannah Adamson and photojournalist Nick Kiefer introduce us to a Kansas veteran who served in the Army Air Forces. Born and raised on a farm outside Girard, Kansas, Floyd Bockelman worked for Boeing and knew many young men who volunteered to join the Army Air Forces, where he eventually was drafted in 1944. After basic training outside Denver, Colorado, Bockelman was assigned to a B-24 crew in anticipation of deploying to the Pacific Theater. Our crew was really nice. I mean, we, we, we had a really good crew. World War II era veteran Floyd Bockelman and his crew would take part in routine cross-country flights in their B-24. From flying to Cuba and back over the Gulf of Mexico to playing war games over the desert. I was a, what they call a, an, a, a waste gunner. As a waste gunner, Bockelman would shoot a 50 caliber machine gun from the sides of B-24s. Airplane would tow a target. And uh, each one of us, each one of the crew had a different uh, colored uh, ammunition bullets, you know, so they could tell who hit the target and who didn't hit the target. Despite no formal training as a pilot, Bockelman says he would take turns piloting the plane with other crew members during cross-country flights. I pretty much knew how to fly the airplanes, so in case of an emergency, I think I probably could have landed the airplane. But I wouldn't, wouldn't, didn't take any training as far as the pilot is concerned. Despite being in the safety of the U.S. mainland, Bockelman says at times training could lead to tragedy. Bockelman recalling a time he and his crew witnessed another plane attempt to take off during a maximum bomb load simulation. Well, the first airplane that uh, took off, the co pilot accidentally got a hold of the wrong lever and raised the flaps up instead of the wheels. And of course, they crashed into the sea bay. After months of cross-country flights, Bockelman and his crew received the news the whole world had been waiting for on September 2nd, 1945. We were flying over the, in Washington, state of Washington, over the desert when they announced the war was over. So uh, we were all really excited, so it was a big deal. About everything that wasn't tied down in the airplane went out the window. So we, we threw a lot of 50 caliber am ammunition out there in the desert. We threw it out the window. <laughs> we didn't figure we needed it anymore. Bockelman's crew would have been the next to go to the Pacific. Bockelman recalling many friends who volunteered for the Army Air Forces before he himself was drafted. They were in the first raids in Germany and a lot of them were shot down and killed so I was really fortunate. So there was a lot of them, a lot of those guys killed that I knew. Bockelman would remain in the Army Air Forces as a medic until 1946. He would go back to work at Boeing for 47 years. Nowadays he spends much of his time golfing and recently he celebrated his 100th birthday. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3. On behalf of Devon James Injury Lawyers, we're honored to recognize World War II veteran Floyd Bockelman, who served our country in the Army Air Corps. Mr. Bockelman, thank you so much for your service. I thank you. Thank you very much. Veteran Salute is sponsored by the Devon James Injury Lawyers.